Students at Cardinal Newman High School in Santa Rosa also continue to rebuild after the fire destroyed half their campus. Night Beat's Andrea Nakano reports a special celebration was held tonight in their honor. The Cardinal Newman community has come a long way since the fire last October. Many were consumed by disbelief and despair then, but tonight, a celebration of what they've been able to accomplish in a very short amount of time. This is what Cardinal Newman High School looked like after the Tufts fire ripped through their campus on October 8th. Students were displaced and attended classes on remote campuses. The football team had to find alternate practice fields as they went after its dream to win a national championship. Roughly four months later, though, the students are all back together. Being back makes a huge difference. The school set up 22 modules to make it happen for a community still in the middle of the rebuilding process. This was priority number one for Cardinal Newman. Our school community was fractured. You know, while we were, we knew we had our kids safe and they were on four different campuses, the challenge of trying to teach and provide a quality education is difficult. That's why the school held the We're Back celebration tonight. This also comes on the eve of the premiere of a nationally televised feature on ESPN on the football team. It will highlight two of the seniors on the team, quarterback Bo Barrington and wide receiver Kyle Caronali. Both of them lost their homes in the fire. Kyle's mother, Heather, says there's no way to put the rebuilding process into words. Overwhelmingly huge. Um, but I'm lucky I have a fantastic support system with family and friends. And when you drive through the community surrounding Cardinal Newman, it's a stark reminder of the work still left to do. Everything around us is still just burnt and there's nobody there. One other thing from this gathering tonight, many say they are overwhelmed by the community support. For example, the varsity girls soccer team played its last game of the season today, and their opponent from Tracy brought a donation to help with the rebuilding efforts. In Healdsburg, on the night beat, Andrea Nakano.